So now let's go down here and let's type in expenses. And here's where you can get it, get it right. You can, you can think about this very thoroughly and figure out what exactly your expenses are going to be. Um, and my time, what I've told most of the people that I've worked for and helped them build their models is that it's nearly impossible to forecast your revenue accurately. But what you can do accurately is forecast your expenses. And the reason that's very important is because you have a cash balance that you'll draw down off of. If you decide to invest $100 into this business, you'll know how much that you're starting with. You're starting with $100. And if you forecast your expenses appropriately, you'll know how long that $100 will last you. If you don't, then you may wind up surprised when you're out of cash. So let's uh, do a few things. So let's say you're gonna sell on Shopify. Um, and we know how much Shopify is going to cost. It's going to cost about $30 a month. And so it's an easy place to get your store set up. And uh, it's probably the way most people would wind up selling these things. So uh, we know that Shopify is $30 a month. So I'm going to come over here and type in monthly. And right below it, I'm just going to put how much that costs per month. $30. And that's a hard-coded sell. So let's go ahead and... Do the same thing to it to make sure we know what it looks like. And then so to get the monthly expense, remember we're forecasting out by weeks here. We're going to hit the plus button. We're going to go over here to the monthly expense and we're going to divide it by four. So the monthly expense divided by four. And we want to go to that, that E17 and we, and we know that's going to be uh, uh, going to stay right there. We're not, it's not going to move over with us when we drag this across. So we want to lock that cell in. I'm going to say it's $7.50 per month, I mean per week. Um, we have a sales expense. So that sales expense, say it's uh, 3%. So what's wrapped up in sales expense is the uh, credit card fees and the other fees that you may incur if you're selling on Shopify, anything like that. Um, also a hard-coded sell, so let's do the same thing. Let's format paint it down and uh, then go over here and hit the percent so it looks right. So that 3% is going to be times total revenue. And that's what we're going to multiply it by. So we get the plus key, go over to this 3%, hit F4, and then times, and go up to that revenue of $100 and hit enter. So our sales expense is 3% of $100, $3. We have a marketing expense. Um, and let's go and just make an assumption that it's going to cost us uh, $3 in marketing expenses per sale. So that's also a hard code. Let's do the Format Painter one more time. Come down there. And uh, it Format Painter the same uh, as the one above it, which is in percent. We just want it in uh, render, just, just comma style is what Excel would call it. So just hit this comma style button there. And then decrease the uh, indent so it only shows the three. Um, so now we know we've sold five and it costs us three dollars a piece. So we're going to go over here to that three, hit F4, and then times and multiply times the number that you've actually sold. G6. So fifteen dollars worth of marketing expense. Now here's where too you could come in and say insurance, rent, and figure out your metrics for how you how you're going to calculate those. Um, legal expenses, accounting. Uh, dot 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 whatever whatever that may be um, you, you could you know you could expand on this to your heart's content just make sure you get it uh, appropriate I, I would start with the top three and uh, kind of work from there and so then we're gonna have total expenses now to get total expenses we're gonna hit the plus button sum again tab to go ahead and initiate the function then highlight all of these expenses right here and hit enter so total expenses of 25.5. Now we'll work down into operating profit. And operating profit is going to be your gross minus your total expenses. So your gross of 57.5 minus your total expenses. Your operating profit is $32. So you sell five fidget spinners at $20 a piece, you make $32. Okay, so we're almost, we're almost to the point to where we're through this model. In all reality, we're, we're getting really close there. Um, so 
we are now at the point where we calculate the taxes that we owed. So we're going to type in taxes here. And over here, we're going to make another assumption on tax rate. So I'll go up here and I'll say tax rate. And off to the side there, I'll type in 30%. And I want to highlight that cell just like this percentage one over here. So I'm going to format painter it and make it look exactly same. So taxes. And this is where we're going to do a, something a little bit different to make the model work appropriately. So we're going to use an if statement. We're going to say if plus sign, plus if tab. So we're going to say if operating profit is greater than zero, then multiply operating profit times the tax rate. And then tax rate needs to be locked in because that's not gonna move. And so if operating profit is not greater than zero, so the value, if it's false, we're just gonna put zero right there. And so now we see our taxes. And you can see that if we adjusted this retail price down to five and operating profit becomes negative 40, then we don't have any taxes because we didn't make any money. So I'll take this back up to 20 over here. So that's the taxes that we owed. And now we're gonna have net Income. Net income is going to be operating profit minus your taxes. 22.4. That's what we made after taxes. So if we started with a cash, let's put our starting cash. And it's going to be, say we're going to invest $100 in there. And it won't make it look the same. It's a hard-coded cell. So we're going to say, Starting cash. And so starting cash, we're going to hit plus right there. It's going to be that starting cash column over there. And we're going to say ending cash. So ending cash is going to be starting cash plus net income. And that's it. That's how much cash you have now in the business. Now, so now we're going to go ahead and calculate how much we made in, in time costs. And uh, which is pretty easy to calculate this because it's, it's up there in time, but let's go ahead and define it a little further. So how much did you make? And this is how much you made in paying yourself hourly. Let's see. So what you made, paying, if you paid yourself hourly, you made this, this number right here, this $12.5. And that $12.5 doesn't include the 22.4 that you made because I'm considering that in the business. Now you could withdraw that. You could, uh, you know, put that in your own pocket. You could roll it back into the business. How you manage your business is, is the uh, subject of a different video. But for right now, we'll just leave it at this. So now, how do we make this grow? Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to apply this weekly growth rate up here and sell G2. So to apply that, we're going to say plus sign this five times, and we want to do a, an open parentheses, one plus the growth rate. And the growth rate is going to be locked in, and then close the parentheses. And what that's going to do is that's going to grow our sales at 5% every week. So in week one, we sell five. In week two, we sell five plus 5% 5 of five. And that's not going to give us a whole number, um, which we could remedy, but for simplicity's sake at this point, we'll just kind of watch it grow at that rate um, across the board. And, you know, you can adjust up or down in reality, but to see what the business is capable of, let's just do it at this, in this way. So now we're at 5.25. So now to forecast it all the way across, we'll just take this black handle now instead of the, instead of the white one down here in the bottom right corner, and grow it all the way across these 20s. So you can see that gets kind of ugly um, and all those decimals. So let's highlight all those and come right up here and decrease the indent down to basic whole numbers. Now, let's forecast the rest of this stuff all the way across. So drag all the way down here, all of those cells that are not yellow, and get that black handle again and drag it across there. 
Now while they're all highlighted, just take this decrease indent and get them down to where you want them. Maybe uh, one decimal place will be good. So we can see here that we have a mistake. Something is not calculated correctly, and I know what it is. What we did here is we didn't lock in this cell, which that cell doesn't need to be locked in because the, start, the starting cache for week two doesn't equal the starting cache from week one. It equals the ending cache from week one. Week one. So we'll come in here and we'll make this go right here. 122.4 is the starting cache for week two. And now that is going to work correctly if we take it and drag it all the way across. So you can see that over those 20 weeks, if you don't withdraw any of the cash, you'll go from $100 in the business to $900 in the business. This is at these basic assumptions that I've made. You can you know, fiddle with them to your heart's content and uh, make them what you believe is realistic. Um, do some market research on retail price. Do some market research on your cost of materials. And then figure out how much it's going to cost you to sell these things, how much it's going to cost you to market them, and then make these assumptions in these yellow cells. Once those are made, you'll have a realistic idea of what that business may be able to produce. In this case, it's a fidget spinner. So thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to ma be making more of these videos over time. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try and respond to them as much as can I can. And if you notice something that I could do better, if uh, you know, if you have any suggestions please uh, let me know. Thanks for watching. And of course, subscribe. Thank you.